when I've run parent classes in the past, one frequent question which is raised by parents as a problem is my child's two languages are not the same, they're not equal, they're not balanced. And lots of parents seem to worry about this, that a child is stronger in one language rather than the other. I have to say that that is absolutely normal. It is rare for two languages to be equal or balanced in a child or an adult. Um, a child will tend to have one stronger language, particularly if that education is through that language, particularly if most of their experience is through that language. Uh, as an adult, we tend to use perhaps one language more than others in many situations, and therefore that language is stronger. But languages tend to get used in different contexts. We use one language inside the family, another in work. One language in the home, another language in school. One language in the community, with friends and family, perhaps another language for religion. So languages don't necessarily get used for exactly the same purposes. Each language can have a different context, a different purpose, different people, and therefore it's not going to be balanced or equal. The other thing I think that needs to be said here is that languages change over the lifetime. Languages are not stable, they're not fixed. Languages grow and can wane as well. And what may be a weak language in a child may grow to a strong language when they're an adult. A number of children are passive bilinguals. That is, they speak one language but just understand and don't speak the other. But come adulthood, that can change, even reverse, as experiences, employment and enjoyment uh, come into play. There's nothing stable or static about two languages. Change is in order throughout the lifetime.